Hey, hey, hey. Come on in and join me. I know I'm a little late. I was coming home, a little traffic, and I really wanted to continue in this space. I love it. I love the flowers and the crystals, and I love what we set up yesterday. I could have done it in my studio, which is sacred and beautiful, but there's something about coming back here and just reinforcing the energy of the space that we create. So, yay. Welcome, guys. Day two. And I have to say, I'm loving the post. Thank you so much. I just saw Sarah posted like five pictures of different spaces. I love it. I love it. I love it. They're so inspiring. They make us feel good. They just bring up that, like, you can feel it, right? Let me know. You can feel it. I know you can feel it. You can just feel that energy when you see the pictures. Let me know what you're feeling about that. So thanks again for posting. I know I'm a little off chat off time, but not too late. So I don't see anybody yet, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just pull it together for day two. All right, somebody's coming in now. <clears throat> There's Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Thanks for posting and bringing people in. Yay. I saw some new pictures posted, too, of sacred spaces in the group. I love it. I just love it. I love seeing it. It's very inspirational for myself as well. Yeah, so I'm liking my space. I know that this won't be a lot forever, but aren't they just beautiful in the color and the way it pops and all of that? Definitely. So coming back to the space each day is what's really important. Like I was saying, I was like, I was running late. I could have done it at my studio, the broadcast, but I really felt drawn to be back here. And that's part of the purpose of having that, that space is just feeling good and building it up each day and just by sitting in it. And maybe you do, maybe you have several of them. Um, I know one of the things we'll talk about in a couple of days is at work, right? And having that space for your work as well. You can have a little abundance corner. You have a sacred space. Your desk even can be set up that way. I have one in the window seal, right? Facing like kind of the north corner of the house there. Even my bathroom. Wait till we get to that day. That's going to be fun too. I'll be sharing like my lights and how I work with that. And spaces that you can set up. It's just so powerful and it's so great. All right, so today we're going to continue on, and we're going to now give us something to do when we come to our sacred space. Not that you just can't sit, but let's take it to that next step, nice and easy. We look at the elements again. I love using a few, A, air, F, fire, E, earth, W, water, right? A few elements, you bring the spirit. I kind of like to do that idea. All right, and we'll look at that too as we go to build a practice. So we begin to create a ritual. We begin to get the body used to doing this. The ego doesn't fight as much. When these new things become more in your way of living, the ego doesn't fight as much. All right, so we bring the air, which is going to bring our breath. We're also going to light some sage. All right, I actually brought my water. It's very thirsty. You can have water to drink, or you can have water in your flowers. All right, you can have it in other objects as well. You can have it in like aquamarine stones or something like that. All right, and then we have our fire for that element. I think in this email, we actually talked about water being the emotional energy that we're going to bring to the picture in terms of releasing and using it for help and grounding. And the earth will ground with. All right, so we're going to light our sage. If you have some, light it. All right, it's always good to clear. Always good to clear the energy. Clear your space, clear your space, all right, all that, right? Clear your hands, all right? Just clear out the energy. If you have any cards that you're working with, clear your cards if they're in your corner. Mine are over here. Yeah, so we just clear that. I was watching um, Let Baron Reed. She has some new shaman cards, and Alberto, the shaman was there, and he was showing us blow three times on the cards because if you don't know how to speak it the energy goes into the cards. so just a little air technique a little air tip all right and then you just kind of begin to bring your energy there you're going to set your intentions right we're going to just open up calling in all for the highest good be guided protected always like to do a little grounding grounding of my elements right you can do that call in for your guides which we'll actually get a little more in detail tomorrow night so we really just kind of want to Center our energy, use the sage to come into it, and then we want to really work on that breath. We want to bring that breath right up from the earth, and we begin to feel our feet grounding. That's that earth element as we bring the breath up. And then we exhale, pull the belly in. That's part of that yoga breathing that connects to the parasympathetic. Send the energy all the way down deep into the earth. And again, we're going to inhale, 
and go all the way up. Imagine all up through the crown, all the way up. And as you exhale, pull it back down. Pull the belly, the navel. That helps to activate the diaphragm correctly to get you into parasympathetic. Deep into the earth. Feel the feet on the earth. Have both feet flat. Make sure they're not crossed. If you're, unless you're sitting down on the ground. But if you're in a chair. And then again, we're going to inhale. And I'm going to go ahead and set a timer for us. So we have five minutes. You'll have that practice in. And just exhale out. Inhaling. Here we go. Five minutes. And exhale, bring the breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. Feel the feet on the floor. And as you inhale, feel the energy coming up through the feet, through the legs, up to that root chakra, all the way up the crown. Open up. Vertically breathing. Exhale, send it all the way back down, through the legs, through the feet, deep into the earth. Inhaling, let that breath find its rhythm, long, slow, deep, up. And as you exhale, this is where we start to realize what are we holding on to. We start to be able to feel the energy, especially in the middle. Where is that energy being held? What's the emotional energy? And send that down. Energy follows intention. There's that water element. Inhaling, bring in the feet up, bring in the breath up through the feet, through the root chakra, up through the crown. And as you exhale again, release out all the stuff you're holding on your shoulders, all the emotional energy you're carrying around. It's probably not even all yours. Send it down through the legs, through the feet, deep into the earth. It's the earth and the water element working with us, right? Inhaling, bringing it back up. Fresh breath, air element, up through the body, up into the heavens. And as you exhale, bring it down. And again, whatever emotional energy, stress, fear, judgment, maybe it's family, maybe it's friends, send it down deep into the earth. Inhaling, opening that breath all the way up. So we don't get caught into the stories. We just allow the energy as we exhale to be sucked down deep into the earth. Just let it go. Let those breaths get longer and deeper. And then as you inhale, bring up fresh energy from the earth. Circulate through that first chakra. That's our abundance center all the way up. Bring the energy up into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull it back down. Release. Let go. Send those emotions down deep into the earth. And you just allow that breath to continue as you sit here in your space. Right? You have your eyes closed. If you have something there that you want to focus on, you can open your eyes. You can focus like on Saraswati. You can use it for meditation. When you find you're drifting, you return to that image, the rock, the stone, the crystal. But you continue that breath up and down the body. Really use that inhale and exhale. Use especially the exhale to pull the belly and the navel in. As you inhale, feel the breath coming up from the earth, just opening up. And as you exhale, release out the chatter of the mind. Let it go. The emotions that you're holding in the body, let it go. Pass through that first chakra. Build that fire energy. Send it deep into the earth. Inhaling. And just continually opening up to the feeling, the seeing, the knowing, all the invisible, all of the stuff that's going on within. Let the outside rest as you process. Exhale away. Process it out. If you've already taken in enough for the day, notice the invisible. Inhaling. And exhaling. Notice the ease. All right, and maybe you get on caught into chatter. That's okay. Doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. That's okay. This is the practice. This is the opportunity for those thoughts. Let them detox, right? Oh, and then just breathe away again. This is when you use like, this is when this is helpful. If you drift away, come back to the focus. Or even if it's a crystal, continue the breath. You can hold it. And as you exhale, you can return the focus to the crystal as you exhale away. That's if you have a chattery mind. It reminds you to come back to center. Inhaling. And 
and exhaling. Notice what you're feeling. Is it heavy? Are you hot? Are you tingling? Continue the breath. Inhaling. And exhaling. Notice the sounds. Notice all the peripheral sounds. Just let them be all around you. Continue the breath. Expanding on the inhale. And see, before you know it, you're done. Totally spaced on the five minutes. Coming back though, let's close. You always wanna ground first, feel the feet down on the earth. Open the eyes, coming back. So meditations don't have to be perfect, quite the contrary. Now you don't wanna be doing stuff, right? You wanna go into the invisible. You wanna go into like, let the thoughts detox, all right? If you're like me, you got a lot of different planning going on. It's like, let them all detox. Let them all go. Maybe you had a lot of feelings going on, right? It was holiday weekend. Maybe you're still processing that. Send those down. Energy follows intention. So we kind of can coax ourselves along the way, coach ourselves along the way, but we don't want to get caught in here. That's why I like to say go into the invisible. Go into the invisible. And that's all you do. Thank you. Gratitude. Always gratitude for your space. Check it. Does it need any water for the flowers? Does it need dusting? And then make a note that you'll be back the next day. Commit. Set that intention. That's how we do it. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Hey, Thelma. Yay. Like, glad you saw, glad you were able to join us. Really good. Actually, I was, I was talking, you know, I was thinking tomorrow's episode, I'll probably post it tonight or at least sneak peek in the group, but Dr. Jacob Lieberman, he's awesome. He he's really, he has a lot to say. I had to listen and listen and listen. Really good. We talked about that intuition, invisible, about the seeing and the vision and all of that. So when you're in your meditation, go into that invisible space. Just go there. Let the mind quiet. Let it just like take a chill. All right, guys, keep posting. Keep posting. Let me know how you're doing. Give me a check mark for making five minutes. All right, again, bring some people into the group. You'll be entered into a drawing for an Akashic Record reading. And the more people you bring in, three or more into the group and, and come in and join it as well, you'll get a seat entered into a seat in my group program. I don't think I quite said that right. I'm a little spacey, but I will post it, I promise. All right, guys, thanks again. Please keep posting. It was so much fun reading all the comments and pictures. Keep it up. See what's in store for us tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, I'll probably have to do it around noon because I teach from like five on tomorrow. So I probably will do it around noon. I'll post that too. All right, keep posting in the group. Thanks for joining me. Practice, come in, just sit if that's all you do too. To your spirit, namaste.